So today I'll be discussing the fashion styling community through the lens of social media listening. So the community at large, there are three main focuses that the community focuses on. That being current trends, future trends, and personal style. With current trends, we look at what colors are in this season, what people are wearing, future, what's going to be going on for the next season, whether it be in color, whether it be in type of clothing, and also personal style, because personal style makes the person and how they are perceived and seen. These three aspects show a wholeness that explains what the styling community is looking for. Staying on trend. First fashion, staying on trend is completely relevant. If you don't stay on trend, you seem to fall behind. And it's harder when you fall behind because fashion is constantly moving. And you have to stay ahead of the curve. And you, like I said, you have to stay three steps ahead. And with social media, it does aid with that because it shows you where you can go and where you are right now. Falling behind holds the individual back and doesn't show them that there is more to what they are doing. So staying relevant in trends is important because you don't want to be what's seen as a fashion faux pas, as some would say. These three examples that I show are how social media really puts fashion in its forefront for people who have styling blogs, who see themselves as stylists, or just social influencers when it comes to fashion. So in the first picture, we see that the stylish duo have a blog, but they also have their Instagram page where they are getting significant amount of traffic. Um, the middle picture, you do see that there are 6,060 other people who have liked the photo because someone, because people are looking at what they're wearing and are really invested in what this person has to say. Same as the last photo as well, through hashtags like men's fashion, you see that people are getting highlighted and brought attention to because of their great fashion style and their attention to detail when it comes to things like that. When we look at social media, we listen to how people are moving and, and going about everything because they are what people want to listen to now. And with everything being the social media base, the biggest is Instagram. For the silent community, they look heavily at Instagram because it shows where trends are coming from. It lets the viewer see what the trend is. Other social medias like Twitter do work, but Instagram kind of puts on the forefront where you have, you kind of fall into like a rabbit hole of, I see one thing. And then I can go into other multiple facets of the same topic. Instagram is king when it comes to the styling community. If you tag it, they will follow. And that is completely true. Fashion style has a strong presence on Instagram when it comes to cultivating ideas. It's as a focus group where people's comments um, will give you kind of an idea of what's going on and how people perceive it, as well as people messaging you directly and giving you feedback or asking where you got it from. It allows you to connect with people more. Just like in the picture right here, it shows you all the hashtags that they are using. And what I will explain next, um, they kind of will bring you into a different world where someone can easily find more on the same topic. Hashtags do allow people to gain followership and drive traffic to them. Influencers know what their audience are looking for and what they like and it will bring it to them. Examples of are 
hashtag OOTD, which is outfit of the day, NY Fashion Week, so New York Fashion Week, men's fashion, streetwear. People look for the, the for these things and gravitate towards them because people know that if they're looking for a certain aspect or aesthetic, they can hit that and they can go into world of things they never knew and they'll find things they want. It's basically the rabbit hole theory where once I go down the rabbit hole, I'm going to keep going because there's more for me to find. And influencers know that their brand and their audience will easily gravitate to them because of everything they got, like June Ambrose, Law Roach, Jordan Woods, and even Jordan Love. They understand that being an influencer provides them access to a bigger audience and that what they do in fashion is going to be easily followed. So they rely heavily on tools like Instagram that will help them be able to focus on what's going on and see a different world in fashion. Because like them, even though they are seen at, at the top of their game, they're still learning as well. So influencers do hold power that us as people who are watching them can now gain access and insight from them. As for myself, when it comes to the community and I, I look for relevancy. Um, when I look through social media, I want to see that what is being presented is relevant to me and the community at large. Because you don't want to ever, like I said, if you're not relevant, you're behind. So you either have to be in the times or ahead of the times. Because even though you might be ahead of the times, you're still in what's considered fashion for social media. Inspiration as well. When you see other influencers or you see other people on Instagram, you kind of have an idea of what you like. You see one outfit that someone has. You might not like the whole outfit, but something on them might drive something in me in particular to want more out of it. Also, in myself, I respond heavily to viewership. Viewership gets people to come over to you, increasing your followers. Your insight on Instagram in particular will go up because people will then see, hey, people like what I'm doing so that I can provide more. And relatability. You, you always need to be relatable and understandable because you don't want to alienate all audiences because people look at what you do as an extension of who you are. So social media gives me the opportunity, especially when it comes to the styling community or fashion in general, actually, to make sure that what I'm doing transcends towards many people and not just pigeonholes just for a certain target audience. Just like in my pictures, I do have like a business Instagram, so I can view my insight, my followers, the amount of posts, how many people come through my page and how often. So that will be able to help me tailor what I can do or what I post because then I'm able to see everything in a whole sense instead of just one specific outlet. I use the hashtags. I make sure that I'm wearing things that are easy for everyone to get. I tag things so people know where to get it. I make it a holistic experience where everyone can understand who I am as a person and not just a picture. I'm a brand by itself. And that is my presentation. Thank you so much.